Hello, Uncle Awesome here again. And you can see I've made some progress on my retro desk. I made a shelf on top there with uh, room for some games. So let's take a closer look. So let's see if we can find the game here. That looks fun. Let's try it. So the 1541 is now repaired. My brother found a chip that had to be replaced. And I replaced it and now it's working fine. I also had to clean the head. And uh, yeah, this is a painting my nephew gave me many years ago. And yeah, perhaps you need to turn on the thing here. So we need to turn it on first. Since I can't easily turn it on back here, I just have it on all the time, the switch is on all the time, and I just put the plug in the hole. <laughs> um. Okay, so I switched position, and now it does respond, but... That was the same problem I had before I cleaned the head, and I guess it could be a problem with the disc. Oh, yep, that works it seems. I also have this um, SD to IC. Uh, yeah. SD to IEC. Uh, because if you're going to have fun with the Commodore 64, you need to have something like this. Because at least I do, because I don't have access to lots of floppies and stuff. This one is also modified a bit, so I have SIDFX installed, so I have jack output here that goes up to my little amplifier. So this is not the most beautiful amplifier exactly, but it works and it was free. I found it in the dumpster. So here I have room for my joysticks. I want to get a hold of some smaller joysticks like the Competition Pro or Sipstick. Is that the name? Sipstick? I think so. And then I can make a shelf here to have so that I could have a room for this one on top. Well, I could do that now also actually. Hmm. Perhaps. Need to have some decoration. I guess all of you know who Victor Bart is, but if you don't, you should check him out. Uh, now recently he has been doing live, stre live streams with an 80s camera. An 80s professional old camera. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, check him out. There is, by the way, one song you need to listen to. It sounds amazing, I think. Oh, I have to connect uh, SD to IC.
perhaps I should try to not use a shotgun microphone to get this stereo effect. Let's turn on the Amiga. You can see I'm loading Workbench on a diskette, but I had to get a GoTech install in this one. I didn't want to have a GoTech in here and potentially, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to modify the case. And I also wanted to be able to load floppy disk in a normal fashion. Keep that. And um, but I tried to only have two because I have two external hard drives or <laughs> floppy drives. So I thought perhaps I didn't need a GoTech. But the floppy disks are so unreliable. I can could format some disks, check them, they were okay, I used them a little while. Then I started to copy stuff from my regular PC to one of the disks through the serial cable. And it could take like 15 minutes and suddenly the disk couldn't work anymore. And that gets old quickly, so the floppy disks are too unreli unreliable, so I had to get this one. Uh, but now I'm using this serial cable for something else. Let's see. And I need some more music. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I can play some music. But also, I can do something else. It's nice because now I have a talk 3 on the floppy disk. The mod music is on the GoTech. And then I have the well, workbench in the Amiga. There we go. Now I'm on the internet or BBS. No. Ah, so this is pretty cool, I think. The Amiga is now online, so I don't know how to use BBS really, but uh, I did send one message or mail or whatever it was and I got a reply, so there's that. So this is what I have brought. 
I don't get it. Don't send already. I couldn't send what I have what I was writing. There is no information on how to send it was supposed to say. This message. Am I too drunk? I was a bit drunk. But I got a reply. Bah. Well it looks like or ha. Huh. It looks like you figured it out. So this is what I'm using as a modem. It is an old uh, thin client uh, running Windows 98. So I put in an SSD in here, an old SSD, and yeah, it's running uh, Haze modem emulator, I think. So I will replace this after a while with um, some other more retro server. Like, uh, perhaps I can have a bigger server with, an, with an, uh, another serial port to connect to the Commodore 64, perhaps? I don't know. I don't know, but um, I want to have a bigger server, but uh, right now it's nice to have a small thing here. Because I don't have that much space. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed having a look at my retro desk. I will continue to build on this. I need to repair a cassette player that is supposed to go left to the left of the amplifier. I would like to get a nicer amplifier. And in the end I need to build my 486 computer. That is also going to be a part of this. By the way, I am going to get a new 486, a very special 486, but it's not going to be it's not going to be a part of this because I want to keep it stuck, but you'll see. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.